Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's exciting because today we're exploring Paris. Woo! We have one day only in Paris and we're going to try and see as much as we possibly can and we are starting with the best which is the Eiffel Tower. So rather than staying in the city we actually decided to camp uh, about an hour's walk from the Eiffel Tower in the closest campsite we could find. Um, but it's actually an amazing location because yeah. it's to the left of Bois de Boulogne, <laughs> we think is how you say it. Um, and it's yeah, just like a lovely walk through the gardens and everyone's on their commute or out exercising. Yeah. And we've just caught our first glance. I don't know if you can see it, but where is it? It's behind those trees. <laughs> yeah, there's like, yeah, you can't see it, but it's like there of the Eiffel Tower. So let's go. Look at that! <laughs> Brad spotted this place. Technically, it's got a view. We got one of the last remaining seats in the front. And this is without ice. Most expensive. Coffee. Coffee and pastry we've ever had. In our lives, but it's worth it. We said we were gonna do it. Whenever so. we travel we used to like Asia. Yeah, not like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> So it's arrived, we got some baguettes, some tannin chocolate, some coffee, and some water. Perfect! We know now why this was so expensive. I've just been served the most fanciest butter I've ever seen in my life. Look at that! <laughs> Whenever have you unrolled your butter? <laughs> Today is that day. <laughs> One of the reasons we wanted to come today was because we figured this would be the quietest Paris ever is in our lifetime. And it is. Look! <laughs> There's no one here! Except, you know, these guys. But then it's just us! In case you're wondering, we're not actually going up the Eiffel Tower because it's close. But we've both been up it before years ago. So. We've come to our next location, which is... Hotel Les Invalides. And I believe this has the tomb of... It's got a bunch of museums in there, but yeah, it's got the tomb of Napoleon Bonaparte. Alright, so that is our second stop. Yeah. Napoleon I died in exile on May 5th, 1821, on the island of St. Helena. In 1840, King Louis-Philippe decided to retrieve the emperor's body to have it buried in Paris. After several weeks of travel, Napoleon's coffin arrived in Paris to be placed under the Dome of Invalides in December 1840. After our visit, we really needed food, so we found a pretty great restaurant a few minutes' walk from the Louvre. <laughs> now we're off to the Louvre. Le Louvre. We both have never been here before. To the Louvre. one day in Paris it's not too far from the Louvre so you should definitely make the journey round to see it. We made it 
into the Louvre. The Louvre, finally. Oh, and it's like going through airport security, which is fun. It's like <laughs> and it, a giant greenhouse. It is really, 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 really warm. And a mask as well. <laughs> I say, out of all of the sites that we've been to in Paris today, this is definitely still the busiest, so everyone still wants to see the Mona Lisa. So here she is, Mona Lisa. I'll get you a zoomed in shot in a minute. So you can imagine that this line used to be ours and ours weight. But it's not. I'll tell you what, no one knows why either. <laughs> I mean, I have no, other than the fact that it's famous for being famous. Brad's seen the Da Vinci Code and he was looking for this. The main reason I wanted to visit the moon <laughs> <laughs> to find what is it underneath? Well, is down there is where Mary Magdalene is buried. Oh, yes, that's what it is. Yeah. See the movie, you, you'll know. <laughs> so, next stop is the Concorde, yeah. which is this thing here. Made yet another stop. <laughs> oh. But Brad has got his lemon and sugar crepe. Well, the final stop was the Arc de Triomphe, but it's they decided to close because they want to go home and <laughs> chill out in the sun. Basically, it's closed early. I think it's because of COVID. But so we're not going to get the view over the city. But look at that front. Yeah. been sightseeing for 11 hours. We're both extremely tired on our way back. It's been a long day in Paris, a great day in Paris, but a long day. Almost made it. Almost. I see Helen. It's warm in here. Water. So we're done. And Brad's ending the day with another French item. And so you <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm having baguette, but you're having crepes, so that's far more French. Yeah, one baguette, wasn't one crepe wasn't enough. No. So, I guess that's the end of this video. We did one day in Paris, and we've seen a lot. So this 11 hours we yeah. were out for. Um, that was an hour walking into Paris and an hour walking back, so I don't see how we could have done much more. No. <laughs> we're absolutely not. Yeah, I think the time is now, what is it? It's quarter to 10. It's quarter to ten. We've uh, had a shower, done a washing, and that's yeah. Lich, I've made a pancake. <laughs> and that's about <laughs> all we have left in us. <laughs> so we'll leave this video here, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with our adventures in France and the rest of the world. But for now, good night. Bye. <laughs>